it's Jessie and I'm here with four Hannah Lynn Diamond Art Club canvases that I'm going to unbox, show off, and then I'm going to try to decide what it is I should kit up to do next because I just finished my Sleeping Beauty, which is by Willowing Tamara Laporte. It is hung up in my daughter's room or else I would show it to you right now. Maybe I can insert a clip of it right here. Ooh, isn't that pretty? <laughs> I had so much fun with that and she loves it because it is pink. So I had thought about showing you all my Hannah Lynn's, but it turns out that's like at least 10, maybe more. And that's just too many for one video. So I picked four that I wanted to show off. Two that I'm trying to decide which one I should work on next. And two that I just wanted to get opened up to check out that the canvas was exactly what it should be and look at some of the pretty drills. I've recently realized that it's actually a really good idea to unbox your diamond art, not save them all wrapped up even though new in the box is good because on very, very rare instance I've seen online where the wrong canvas has been packed. And you definitely wanna let Diamond Art Club know about that as fast as you can so that they can get that fixed for you. So I am starting with Summer Nights. You can see the sticker here. And this is not one that I think I'm gonna work on next because it's a little too big and I want to work on one in the car. So I also recently learned these little stickers. You can put them on the ends of your box so then if you happen to store them this way on the shelves, you can see what they are. And I'd never done that before. I never really knew what you're supposed to do with the stickers. <laughs> I put them in my kids' sticker books. They fight over who gets the big one, who gets the small one. And now I'm super excited because that's actually very helpful. So let's give it a look. Starting with the toolkit, we're just going to peek in and see if there's a cover minder and look at what the washi tape is. Even though I don't use the cover minder, I know a lot of people like to see what they are. Ooh, I don't have this one yet. Let's see. Ready? It is a rose. Can you see that? Can my camera focus? Oh, it focused better without my hand behind it. All right, so the cover minder is a rose, and the washi tape is actually floral. That's really nice. So let's take this out and see what it looks like. Ooh, that was a lot of drills. They are heavy. These canvases are just getting bigger and bigger and I don't even buy the biggest ones. The really big canvases, oh my goodness. They have made some that are so huge. All right, let's check it out. See what it looks like. Oh, oh, she's beautiful. Check that out. Oh my God, I love it so much. And let's just get a sneak peek at the drills. See if we can find if there's any special drills. I know there are for sure. So there are 62 colors. 62 colors. Oh my gosh. Oh, I already see one. Ooh, crinkly. I don't usually open my drills when I go through my canvases, but oh my gosh. Here it is. Can you see that? That is like a crystal rhinestone looking instead of a plastic. I also see quite a few ABs. So I wonder if this has like the fairy dust. I don't, none of the other drills are popping out at me. I mean, I see a couple ABs in here, but that's really the one that I see that I haven't had on a Diamond Art Club before. You get those a lot when you buy um, like the coaster sets or... Uh, kind of specialty items. So I'm kind of excited to see Diamond Art Club using those too. All right, big clunk. I'm going to toss these on the floor. Woo. All right, now, oh my gosh, mystical pond. This box, look how big this box is. It's as tall as a four-year-old. It's my four-year-old. So this one, if you, well, I don't know if I posted it yet, but I have already gone through its toolkit, so it's not in here. But I just dropped its sticker. Oh my gosh, y'all, this can't. This is. I complained about the last one being heavy. It's got nothing on this one. Wow, these canvases. This one will take me forever. I know this is not the next one I'm kidding up because I'm working on every tree has a soul, and that's a square. And I like to do one square and one round. I don't really like squares, even though I think the images almost always turn out looking better. Oh wow. And look, it's the red panda peeking out. So I originally didn't buy this one because I'm not super into mermaids and it's huge. This will take me six months, but I'm super into red pandas. 
So that alone got me to purchase it. I would say this one I have a little bit of buyer's regret because, oh my gosh, I just don't know when I possibly have time to do this thing. <sighs> but it's got a red panda and it's a Hannah Lynn. And oh, y'all, do you see, do you see the drills here? Number 98. Those are like big rhinestones. They're not the regular size drill, which means Diamond Art Club is starting to play with some different sizes. Okay, how many colors does this have? 67? Unless there's, oh my God, is there a second sheet? No way. No, 67 colors, which I think my kids hold 24 at a time, so. It's gonna take a lot of room to get up. Oh, there they are, look. Oh, I don't know if it'll focus on See how big those are? So it looks like each of these, sorry about my hand, I have watercolor paint on it. Each of these is the size of two of a regular drill. And I'm not gonna open these drills because there's just so many of them, but oh, I see a lot. See my ABs in here. I don't really know what the fairy dust diamonds are yet. I'm not sure I see any that stand out to me as being different. All right, they clunk onto the floor. All right, now here are the two that I'm trying to decide between. First, this is a Black Friday one. Oh, let's do the toolkit first. This one is candy. These toolkits are like little Christmas presents. My husband told me that all of my Black Friday purchases needed to go under the tree and wait until either solstice or Christmas. And I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm an adult and I don't have to wait. So let's start with this washi tape. It's just a, a floral design. Okay. And, oh, we're continuing the flower flowers here. Oh, there's a tulip. It's kind of like a plasticine. Really pretty. Oh, they just <laughs> snapped together. I st stuck them too close to each other on things. All right, let's check candy out here. See, this is a manageable canvas. This is the size I like, because it also, it's easier to hang on the wall. Those giant ones, I mean, where do you put them? I know a lot of people don't even hang up their canvases at all. They just do them to do them, and that's cool. But I like to hang up my artwork. And also, I like to hang up my actual artwork. And I don't have time to do it, because I'm always diamond painting. Look at her, look at Candy. I love her. So is she actually a Halloween canvas? She might be a Halloween canvas. There's. Is that a spider? I think I originally thought that was a piece of candy. I don't know. I, th I still think it's a piece of candy in the moon, but there are pumpkins and she has candy corns on her hat. So maybe this is a fall Halloween canvas. So that has never stopped me before of making it year round, but maybe we'll save her. Let's check her drills out real fast and see if there's any, any that stand out as being different from what I've seen before. Oh, I still can't believe Mystical Pond has those oversized drills. That's so cool. So Candy has a more manageable 46 colors. And I see some ABs. Yeah, I'm not sure when they say the fairy dust diamonds. Now granted, I don't know if this contains any fairy dust diamonds, but I haven't been able to tell what those are yet. All right. And finally, the final contender, Janessa. Janessa is not a new canvas. I think I did not get her in the first release. I was like, oh. You know, let's be practical. Let's not purchase till, you know, the next Black Friday sale, whatever. And then I regretted it so much. Like, I was like, why did I not buy Janessa? Why did I not buy Janessa? And then Ray came in stock, so I bought Ray, and I did Ray, and she's hanging at my wall, and she's beautiful, and I was like, I have to get Janessa. So she came back in stock, and so I bought her. And that is how I realized that you can't wait for Black Friday sales because the canvases just don't stay in stock. You never know what you're going to get, and so you got to get what you want when you see it. And man, does Diamond Art Club have the FOMO marketing down. But I'm so happy that I own Janessa now. So, oh, I didn't start with the toolkit. I started with the canvas. Look at her. Oh, she's beautiful. Okay, Candy, this is no contest. Janessa, Janessa's getting kitted up next. She is beautiful. Wow, I love it. I'm so excited about this. Ah. All right, let's check that toolkit out. So tell me down below, rounds or squares, big canvases or little canvases? What do you think? 
Would you do Mystical Pond? Would you take that on next? Or would you pick a little one like Vanessa or Candy? What do you like in your diamond art painting? Oh, looks like I got another macaron. This is a mint colored one. This is probably pistachio, right? Like, ooh, those are bright lights. So the bright lights make it, some things look better, but it makes it harder to see other things. Can it go this way? No, not enough contrast. There you go, there's the macaroon. And just some dots, greens and blacks. All right, and let's give her, let's see, I definitely see some ABs in here. Pretty manageable stuff. Let me show you the difference between Mystical Pond and Janessa. <laughs> Look at that. Like, that is a lot of diamonds. How will I ever get that thing done? That That's insane. This is like a lifetime project to get Mystical Pond done. And I have a whole bunch of the Dreamer Designs Curtis Rekovich dolls that are the same size. This is what I want from a diamond painting. Why do I keep buying the huge ones? All right. Well, I think it's settled. I'm going to be kidding up Janessa, and hopefully I'll show an in-progress video. I'm going to try to post some more whipping chats. It's hard for me. I usually just do these on the kitchen counter. My husband doesn't want to hear me talking to myself. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye!